I dreamt of these fairy lights from Parenthood game pack, except that instead of the shape of little light bulbs, there were in my dream these little pumpkin shape bulbs. Like, you know, the ones you'd get for Halloween, because I guess, I don't know, my brain is on Halloween mode. When I woke up, I realized that that would be such an easy CC item to make. And when I say easy, I mean it's really, really easy. You don't need blender, there is no messing around with mesh, none of that. So just, you know, let me show you. As some of you might already know, to follow majority of my tutorials, including this one, you'll need Sims for Studio, you'll also need a photo editor, and for this particular tutorial, you'll need Parenthood Game Pack. Because I'll use an item from that pack. First, open Sims for Studio. Then right here under Object, make sure Standalone Recolor is selected and click Object. Then, as some of you already know, you will be brought to this catalog. And I'm just going to sort by Game Pack. And I'm going to choose Parenthood. And while here, I'm going to look for the fairy lights. I want these ones, they're called hanging lights, so select them and then click Next. Right now, what you're saving is a .package file. This is the file that always goes into your mods folder. And even if you don't save it there right now, you're going to have to move it there eventually if you want the file to be in your game. So you can name that one whatever you want. And once done, click Save. Then once here, go to Texture tab. And now you want to take out this image. To do that, make sure Texture here is selected and then click Export. Right now, what you're saving is just a regular .png image. So you can again name that one whatever you want. And you can also save that one wherever you want. Like it doesn't need to be in your mods folder. I'm going to save it here just for the heck of it. But you really don't have to. And save it. Once saved, you can open your fairy light texture image that you've just saved in your photo editor, which for me is something called GIMP or GIMP. I'm still not sure how to pronounce that. But here is the texture in GIMP. I'm just going to zoom it in. And right now, all I want to do is pretty much just paste little Halloween pumpkin image right here instead of the bulbs. So I'm just going to look for an image of a pumpkin online. And I kind of like these ones. And then I'm just going to drag, drag the pumpkins right here. And then I'm just going to go into the rectangle select, select the pumpkin, copy it and paste it. And then paste it to a new layer, copy it, paste it to a new layer, paste it again, 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 to a new layer. So I'm just going to move them on top of the bulbs. And I need three more. So I'm just going to paste one, two, three, and drag them on top of the remaining three bulbs. I'm just going to move all of them down, merge them into one layer. So I'm going to merge all my pumpkins into one layer by pressing this button right here. You can also do it by right clicking and then selecting merge down. Right. So either this or right clicking and merge down. So right now all my pumpkins are one layer and now I want to get rid of the white. So once pasted layer here is selected, which it is, I'm going to go to colors and I'm going to go to color to alpha. And as you can see, it takes the white out. But I don't want it to take all the white out. So you can just like play around with this kind of want it like this. Okay. I'm just going to save it and test it in the Sims 4 Studio. To save it in GIMP file, 
export as and you can name it here whatever you want i'm just going to name it fair halloween fair lights one and export the image click export once again once the image is exported i'm going to go back to the sims 4 studio and again here under texture now instead of um exporting it i'm importing an image so i'm going to click import and i'm going to choose my pumpkins open it up and there you have it i'm just going to save it i'm going to test it in my game oh my god later this year ea app for windows will replace origin as uh, the destination for purchasing downloading and playing ea games like origin is not great let's be real but i heard from people they use ea app that they have like a lot of bugs so i have no idea how i feel about that but i'm just going to start we have some additional items here that i've made because you know why not are these the ones yeah these are the ones we made look how cute they are wow you guys ready for halloween season do you celebrate halloween season halloween season halloween where you're at because we don't where i'm from but i still love it oh my gosh this would be a great thumbnail let's just 